Welcome back fellow techies to our latest tutorial video. I am the Technician Project. Next tutorial video which is a how to part 3 video of how to do our acoustic mix. Part 3, the vocals. Now where we left off our mix last time was we done the guitar neck guitar body DI for the verse guitar neck guitar body and guitar di for the chorus now what i've done is i've unmuted the bottom six tracks and we've done a little bit of mixing with the um within the mixer just to mix these six these 12 tracks together so we've got here we've got our first six tracks which we've edited in our previous video which is these ones just here and as you can see i've panned them hard left so all those six tracks are panned hard left. So that is the verse chorus for your neck, your body and your DI all panned hard left. So what we've done is we've copied all the effects onto the duplication tracks, um, copied them all over, copied all the levels over as well and panned everything hard right on the other six tracks. So we have a basically a really wide stereo guitar track now. A really solid stereo guitar track um, and what i've done is removed the eq and the compression from the guitar reverb channel because i felt it added too much bass to the overall track level so what we've done we've just kept the space design the reverb and we've just increased the wetness of the reverb just to make it a little bit more brighter so let's have a quick listen to it now all the way through the verse into the chorus at the end of the chorus. That's lovely that. So after listening through to the guitar verse and the chorus, what we're going to do is we're just going to mute all the guitar tracks. So now we've got everything muted in our mix as a whole. We unhide our vocal tracks. So we want to see the vocals now. So we're going to unhide all the vocal tracks there and we're going to mute, unmute all the vocal tracks as well. So we can have something to play with and then we're going to hide all the guitar tracks. So we just want to listen to the vocals on their own now. We've mixed the guitars on their own. Now let's mix the vocals on their own and then we'll bring the whole mix together near the end. So let's unhide that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mute our main vocal effects line. And what we're going to do is we're going to mute everything else as well. Because I just want to listen to the main vocal line on its own. I'm starting to, from, from the first couple of bars, just to see where it's at, what we can do with it, and how, how it should sound. So let's have a listen through. You listen careful for the clash And hear that Johnny's out of cash You see that Crosby steals his stash And find the Queen is singing flash Ah, 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 oh. Now, just by listening to that first section there, um, I feel that some harmonies need to be added, some effects need to be put onto the vocal line. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to add the effects first and just brighten up the vocals a little. 
They do sound quite good on their own, but it's always nice to add a bit of EQ and a bit of compression to them. So let's add a stereo EQ to the vocal line. And we just want to add a bit of, hmm, let's see. Can we add a bit of warmth? Yes, we can add a bit of warmth. So let's add a bit of warmth. We'll have a quick listen to some sections with her singing and we'll go from there. You listen careful for the clash And hear that Johnny's out of cash You see the Crosby That sounds better. Let's have a listen to it without the effects on and back off again. He steals here his stash And find the Queen is singing flash Ah That's lovely that with the EQ sounds lovely. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another, a compression unit to it just to tighten it all up, tighten it all together. We don't have to add a very um, harsh EQ, just a, a nice bright vocal EQ will do. Um, so let's just go back and listen to some bits with the EQ on, with the compression on, sorry. Listen careful for the clash. And hear that Johnny's out of cash. You see that Crosby steals his stash And find the Queen is singing flash oh, 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 oh. Lovely, and what I like to do as well, I like to just add a little bit of reverb to the vocal line um, So we can have a play with that as well, let's have a bit of reverb A small room, I always do a small wet room and then increase the wetness or increase the room accordingly. Listen careful for the clash And hear that Johnny's out of cash Lovely. You see that Crosby steals his stash And find the Queen is singing flash Ah oh, oh, oh. Now, we'll skip the vocal, main vocal effects line. We'll go to the harmonies here. Now, as you see, the harmonies match up with this part, this section of the vocals. So let's unmute the harmonies. Let's copy the effects over to the harmonies because it's the same vocal line, same singer. Um, and let's just turn the harmonies down a bit in anticipation for them to be quite loud. So let's listen to this little section here with the harmonies in. And find the queen is singing flash. Oh, oh, oh. Now what I would do for the harmonies, add a little bit more reverb. Let's try that now. Might be a bit too much, but we'll load it back up. And find the queen is singing flash. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that sounds really nice. Really, really nice. And there's another part here where the reverb comes in. So let's have a listen to that bit as well, just to see if they both match up. He gets a barber tool from dealing. Oh, no. Lovely. So what we've got in here is we've got some distant vocals on tracks. 10 to 15. So we're going to bring those vocals in first and let's have a look at listen to the distant vocals as well. Let's just drag and drop those in. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to unmute. I'm going to unmute three for the time being. And we're just going to drag those in because that's the only place the distant vocals come in. So let's drag both of those down. Lovely. So the distant vocals will go in here. So Let's listen back to this bit, but also before we do that, let's just copy and paste these effects over because it's the same vocalist singing, so we might as well keep the same effects on them. And we're gonna also copy the reverb over as well. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hard pan these vocals. One hard left, one hard right, and one straight down the middle and see what they sound like after this pit. 
and find the queen is singing flash. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Savior of the So we also want these two vocals, these three vocals here. So that's the second part of that vocal line, which I've just realized we made a mistake on. So let's copy and paste those over. We want all effects on those as well. Now you would say, why don't you have those in the same line, on the same instrument line? But when we've done the recording, we've done separate lines to make it easier for the vocalist to record. So what we're going to do is we just copy all these effects over like this. I'm going to hard pan all these just like that. And we're going to match the levels to what we've set already. So that's minus 16.4. The other one is minus 15.4. And the other one is minus 15.6. Lovely. So let's play the whole section again from about here. Actually, let's play the from the beginning. Listen careful for the clash. And hear that Johnny's out of cash. You see that Crosby steals his stash. And find the queen is singing flash. Ah, oh, 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 savior of the universe. Lovely that that those Stevie distant wonders how you feel. Getting interrupted by the vocalist there. Those distant vocals sound really nice, but we may bring them further back in the mix. But we'll see. Um, so we've got a couple more harmonies here that we can play with. So let's bring up harmony two to seven and let's drag them up to the top and put them after harmony three, harmony one, sorry. So now we've got all the other harmonies are coming in. Lovely. So let's play the mix from here. Before we do that, let's adjust these harmonies to have all the same matching EQ. So that's just give me a second and we'll copy and paste all the EQ over. Now we don't have to use all these harmonies. They are obviously being recorded by the vocalist during the recording session, but it's entirely up to the engineer and obviously myself today, whether or not we use them all and where we go with them and what effects we use on them or what panning we put. So let's bring them all down to around seven. So that's just minus 7.2. And we'll copy that along to all these faders like that. Perfect. So let's listen from this little section here where these harmonies fill in this gap. He gets a bob or two from dealing. Oh, no. Just listening back to that then, I feel there's too many harmonies going on. So what we'll do is we're just going to mute. We're not going to delete. We're just going to mute the first three there. And with these harmonies, we've got left. So that leaves harmony two, three, and four. And what we're going to do is we're going to pan harmony one that way. So harmony two that way, harmony three, straight down the middle, and harmony four as far as we can. And now let's have another listen back to this little section here and just see if that's improved any more. I might be entitled just to ring them down and just smidge more actually. See what they sound like. He gets a bob or two from dealing. Uh -huh. Oh no. Uh -huh. sounds loads better now with only those three and they've panned slightly so that is the vocals in my opinion mixed to the point where we can now go on to the rest of the mix we'll see you in part four thanks for watching
Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. And also ding dong that notification bell to get further updates. Thanks again. Goodbye.